Okay, so last meeting, we discussed about the singular reinforced design. Okay, and today, we will discuss about uh, sa double reinforced design naman. Ultimate strength design, double reinforced design. Okay, I have here a sample problem, but before we proceed to answering this problem, let us first discuss uh, kailan ba nagkakaroon ng double reinforced. Okay? Okay, so you have here a rectangular beam. Say, for example, um, you have a rectangular beam. Okay, and this is um, reinforced on the tension side. And if and say, for example, this is the neutral axis. Okay, then if we try to draw the stress diagram, okay, and these stresses can be represented by a single force acting on its centroid. Diba? This is denoted by C for compression. And of course, due to the reinforcement in the tension side, you have there what we call T. Okay, and this C is acting on the, what we call now the compression block. Diba? This one. And this distance, this is what we call the depth of the compression block. Okay, ito naman, this is your C. The distance from the neutral axis to the extreme fiber in compression. Okay, so kailan ba nagkakaroon ng uh, double reinforced design? Diba, if we try to draw the, ano, if we try to draw the strain diagram, Okay, it would look like this. The strain for concrete is 0.003. Diba? That is the strain for concrete. And the strain naman for tension that is uh, for steel pala. Diba? This is equal to Fs over um, yung modulus of elasticity ng steel. But this is the value for the strain sa steel. That is the value for the strain sa steel. And if we want to have a balance, uh, balance design, ibig sabihin, Yung pag sinabing balance, uh, sabay lang na mag yield yung steel at saka yung concrete. Sabay nila na ma-reach yung kanilang strain. Okay, sa concrete that is 0.003. At saka sa steel naman, that is equal to this time, instead na Fs dito, this is uh, the yield point, the Fy, over the modulus of elasticity. So, if this is a balance design, yung Fs mo, this is actually equal to Fy over the modulus of elasticity. And if you try to compute this, this is approximately equal to 0 0.002. Okay? So this is the strain of the steel for balance, ano, for balance uh, design. Okay? Sabi dito, sa, sabi sa NSCP, kailangan talaga na tension controlled. Ibig sabihin, kailangan na maunang mag-yield yung steel natin. That's why, yung NSCP, sabi niya, kailangan hindi lang 0.002, kailangan hindi aabot sa 0.002 yung strain mo. It should be, the minimum strain only should be equal to 0.004. That is to ensure ductile failure. Ibig sabihin, dapat tension controlled. Yun yung sabi sa NSCP. So, ibig sabihin pala, iniiwasan natin na, na below 0.004 yung strain natin sa tension. Kasi kung below 0.004, ibig sabihin nun, malapit na siya sa 0.002. And if that happens, mauuna nang mag-fail yung concrete natin. Iniiwasan natin yan, di ba? Kasi gusto natin na tension control yung, uh, yung design natin, di ba? So one logical solution para lang hindi mauna mag-fail yung concrete is to, of course, you can increase the, the, the area of the concrete in compression, di ba? Just so it will not uh, fail first. It will not yield first, okay? Para lang hindi siya maging compression controlled. Okay? Pero, uh, there's uh, there's a concern kung masyadong, kung palakihan mo yung, ano, kung palakihin mo yung area ng concrete, baka naman masyado na siyang malaki, di ba? Baka naman masyado nang malaki yung dimension ng beam mo. And that is, uh, we don't, we don't want that also because, baka it will take up too much space sa design mo. Also, baka uh, there's a concern na baka masyado nang mabigat yung, ano, yung beam mo. Okay? So, masyadong malaki yung dead load. Okay, so what we do instead, instead na palakihin natin yung dimension ng concrete natin para lang hindi siya mauna mag-fail, di ba? Yung ginagawa natin instead is nilalagyan natin ng uh, reinforcement, uh, compression reinforcement, still reinforcement at the top. Tawag dyan is the is compression reinforcement. Okay? So, naglagay tayo ng compression reinforcement at the top. Okay? Kasi, 
uh, mas malakas naman yung di ba mas malakas naman yung steel kaysa sa concrete ba if you compare the FC prime and FY FY is uh, larger than FC prime yung capacity ng steel natin is mas malakas siya kaysa sa capacity ng concrete yun nga lang mas mahal yung yung steel di ba so instead na palakihin natin yung concrete in compression di ba Uh, nilalagyan na lang natin ng ano ng compression reinforcement at the top. Kasi maliit lang na area kung steel yung gagamitin natin. Instead na palalakihin natin yung ano, ng area ng concrete. Okay? So yung ginagawa natin. Now because of that, because of the tension reinforcement, meron kang another force here. Let me erase this one first. Now because of that reinforcement, you have another force here in compression. Okay? This force here is now acting on the centroid of that reinforcement. Okay? So, itong force na to is from that reinforcement. And we call this CS. Okay? Compression from steel. Okay? That is CS. Okay? So, naglagay ka ng additional reinforcement sa taas. Of course, maglalagay ka din ng additional reinforcement at the bottom. Okay? Yun. So, this, this force here is, uh, this is also tension. So, since dalawa naman silang tension, let's name this TS1 and this one, this is TS2. Yan. Okay, so, we have two couples here. Okay, for this to be in state of equilibrium, your C and your TS1 should be equal at saka yung CS mo at saka yung TS2 should be equal para makaform ka ng dalawang couple. Okay, the magnitude of the couple here is denoted by MN1. Okay, MN1. And the magnitude of the couple here is denoted by m and 2. Okay? So, the, the sum of the two is the total nominal capacity of the section. Okay? So, your m and the capacity ng section is actually equals to that the that m and 1 plus m and 2. Okay? Where your m and 1, take note, your m and 1 is actually equal to, it's either C multiplied by D minus A over 2. O kaya naman your MN, MN1, o kaya naman your MN1 is also equal to T multiplied by D minus A over 2. Diba? Yan. Yung MN2 mo naman, MN2. Your MN2 is equal to the magnitude of the couple here. That is CS at saka TS2. Okay, so you can, you can write here your MN2 is actually equal to CS. Okay, CS multiplied by D minus D prime. Saan ba nakuha yung D minus D prime na yan? Diba this distance, the distance from the extreme fiber to the centroid of the tension reinforcement is your D. Okay? At saka yung distance naman, diba the distance of the reinforcement in compression to the extreme fiber in compression is denoted by D prime. Diba? So, ibig sabihin this is also D prime. So, the distance between the two reinforcement is actually D minus D prime. Diba? D minus D prime. This is the distance between the two reinforcement. That's why your, your, I know, your uh, moment arm here, CS, is equal, uh, CS multiplied by D minus D prime. Yan, yan, the distance between the two uh, forces. Okay, this this also equal to, your MN2 is also equal to C, uh, no. is also equal to C. To TS2, TS2 multiplied by D minus D prime. Of course, this is TS1, ha? TS1, at saka ito naman, this is CC. Okay, CC. Uh, compression from concrete. Okay, so these are the formulas for MN. Also, we have to identify, ano ba yung value ng CC? CC, that is 0.85 FC prime AB. Diba? That's the value for your CC. Okay, this CC. How about your CS? Your CS is equal to, um, that is AS prime, to prime to denote uh, that it is in compression, multiplied by FS prime or FY, okay? FS prime or FY. Okay, and your TS1 naman, TS1, this is, is, this is also equal to AS1, not prime, ha? walang prime, kasi this is in tension, multiplied by FS. Where your F is, the maximum value of your F is, is your FY. Okay? And also, you have there the TS2. This is equal to AS2 multiplied by FS. Where the maximum value of your FS is FY. Okay, so these are the formula we will be using in solving or in the design and analysis of a doubly reinforced beam. 
Okay, let's have an example. Okay, I have here an example. Uh, if mu is equal to 980 kilonewton meter, we are to determine the still area required for the section shown in the figure. Should compression still be required, we are to assume that it will be placed 70 mm from the compression phase and given din yung capacity ng concrete at saka nung, ano, nung steel, 21 megapascal at saka 420 megapascal respectively. And of course, the modulus of elasticity of steel which is 200 megapascal. Okay, so we are to compute for the steel area and we don't know for sure if this is doubly reinforced, di ba? So in solving, okay, uh, we will first assume that this is singular in force. So, paano ba yung, how, how do we solve this? Okay, so, ano ba yung step 1? Step 1 natin is to solve for the value of A. So, again, our assumption here is that this is SRB, singular in force beam, at saka yung value ng P natin is equal to 0 0.9. Okay? So, we are assuming. We are, these are our assumptions. Okay, so to solve for the value of A, you cannot use your equation, which is T is equal to C, because uh, this, this is equal to ES multiplied by FY is equal to 0 0.85 FC prime AB. You cannot use this because unang una, you don't have the value of ES. In fact, yun yung pinapahanap sa problem. And we are solving for the value of A. So dalawa yung unknown mo. You cannot use this formula. Okay, so what you can use here is the formula for MN. Since MN man yung... yung since MN yung, uh, although it's not given, but the given is MU, you can solve for the value of MN. So we'll use the formula for MN. Take note, we cannot use also the value of MN, which is T multiplied by D minus A over 2, because nga, we don't have the value for, for ano, for, but your T is equal to ES, FY. You don't have the value for ES. So you cannot use this equation. Okay, so what you can use instead, you can use the value for the equation for C. I mean, the formula for C. But since this is mn, this is equal to c multiplied by d minus a over 2, okay? Where your mn is actually equal to mu over the phi. This is equal to your c naman. This is 0 0.85 fc prime ab multiplied by d minus a over 2, okay? Your mu is 980 kilonewton meter or that is in, in newton meter. You have to multiply this by 10 raised to 6 all over we will assume again, huh? this is just an assumption, this is 0 0.9, later we will check, okay? 0 0.9, this is equal to 0 0.85, Fc prime is 21, your A is the unknown, your B is equal to 350, and your D is 700 minus A, which is unknown, over 2. Okay, so everything is given here, you can solve for the value of your A. Um, 323.95, this is 323. 323.95. This is 323.95 mm. Okay. And second step, diba? step number two is to check your assumption. But before we do that, let us first solve for the value of C. Kasi C yung gagamitin natin in checking for those assumptions. Okay. Your C here is equal to ano ba yun? A over beta 1. Diba? This, is, this, this relationship is from the equation A is equal to beta 1 times C. So, ibig sabihin, your C is equal to A over beta 1. Okay? Where your beta 1, take note, your beta 1 is equal to 0 0.85. This is for FC prime equal, I mean, less than or equal to 28 megapascal. At saka yung beta 1 mo naman is equal to 0 0.65. If your FC prime is greater than or equal uh, 55. Diba? Greater than or equal to 55. So obviously, since your FC prime is 21, you will be using 0 0.85. So this is equal to 2, I mean, 3, 2, 3. This is equal to 3, 2, 3 all over the beta 1, which is 0 0.85. Your C, therefore, is equal to, ilan ba yan? 3, 2, 3, uh, 3, 2, 3 divided by 0 0.85. The result is 381.11, diba? 381.11. This is in mm. Okay, this is your value for C. So, step number two, you have to check. Paano natin ito check? You compute for the value of your C max. Okay, ano ba yung assumption natin again? Your assumption is, is RB siya, saka yung, yung FIMO is 0 
Okay, so to check those assumptions, let us solve for the value of your C max first. This is 3 over 7 multiplied by D. Diba? Multiplied by D. Your D is equal to 700. So your C max, your C max therefore is equal to, yan ba yan? 300 mm. Diba? This is your C max. And obviously, your C exceeds C max. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya singly reinforced beam. Okay, since your C max is greater than your C, I mean, your C is greater than your C max, then we have to solve this problem as doubly reinforced beam. Okay? So, how do we do that? Okay. You continue your solution. Uh, let me erase this one. Okay, so how do we uh, how do we continue this? So we are we know now that this is doubly reinforced. Okay, so what we can do with the C max, we impose natin siya in solving for the value of your maximum moment, maximum nominal moment, kung singly reinforced siya. Okay, so we will solve for the maximum moment. We will be using yung formula ng MN, which is equal to ano ba yun? 0 0.85 FC prime AB multiplied by D minus A over 2. Okay? You have your 0 0.85. Your FC prime is equal to 21. Your A, yung A na gagamitin mo is coming from this C. Diba? You can solve for the value of A. A is equal to beta 1 C. Your C max yung gagamitin mo. This is therefore equal to, ilan ba yan? 0 0.85 times 300 yung C max mo. And that is equal to 255. This is 255 mm. Yun yung gagamitin mo here. Okay? Yun yung isa substitute mo dito. That is 255 multiplied by B. Your B is 350. This is multiplied by your D is 700 minus A which is 255 over 2. Diba? So, you can solve for the value of your MN. This is actually your MN max because you are using the value for C max. Right? You can solve the value of your MN max. Your MN max is equal to 0 0.85 times 21 times 255 times 350 times 700 uh, times um, 700 minus 255 over And this is equal to, ilan ba yan? Uh, in terms of kilonewton meter, that is 912.0057. This is in kilonewton meter. This is the value for your M MN max. Ibig sabihin, this is the maximum moment na kayang i-carry ng section mo kung singly reinforced lang siya. Again, this is the maximum moment na kayang i-carry ng section mo kung singular reinforced lang siya. Okay? And also, taking into consideration that your steel bar should yield. Okay? Dapat tension controlled siya. Kaya yung MN max mo is only 912.057. Now, what will happen? Eh, kasi sabi sa problem, dapat yung makikerry niya is 980 MU. Okay, let us first compute pala yung MN dito. Okay? Because we will compare yung MN mo, MU kasi yung given, we will compare your MN here to your MN max. Okay? Uh, we, we already know that your MN will exceed yung MN max kasi nga yung C max mo, di ba? Uh, yung C max mo kasi is lower than your actual C. Ibig sabihin, yung MN nito will definitely exceed the value of your MN max. Okay? But we need to solve it because we need to compare it here, kung ilan ba, we need to identify kung ilan ba yung excess. Okay? So, we'll solve for the value of your MN. This is equal to MU over the reduction factor. Your MU is equal to 980 kilonewton meter. Yung gagamitin mong fee here, okay, ano ba yung gagamitin natin na fee? Okay. Before you, uh, uh, okay, ano ba yung gagamitin natin na fee? Di ba yung Cmax yung ginamit natin? Okay, uh, you have the value of your C max. You can solve for the value of your Fs, di ba? Fs here is equal to 600 D minus uh, C over C. Pag ginamit mo yung C max mo, your Fs here is equal to, I think that is 800 megapascal. Okay, so we'll try to solve for the value of your Fs. This is 600 multiplied by, uh, ano ba yan? D 
your D is, alam mo, 700, di ba yung D? That is 700 minus C. Your C is, yung C max mo. The value of C, your C max is 300 all over 300. Okay, your F is therefore is equal to 800. Di ba? 800. So, 800 siya. Actually, this is always 800. Kasi your C max is based on the assumption that your strain is equal to 0 0.004. Diba pag yung strain is 0.004, that translates to F is equal to 800 megapascal. Okay? So, 800 megapascal siya. So, anong gagamitin natin na reduction factor? Diba, uh, as I have uh, discussed in the last, ano, in the last video, sabi natin doon, uh, if your Fs is uh, less than or equal to your Fy, your reduction factor is equal to 0.65. Diba yun yun? But if your Fs is equal is greater than or equal to 1,000, your reduction factor is equal to 0 0.9. Yan. Diba? Ito yung ano natin. This is your value for your fee. So, since your Fs is equal to 800, we have to interpolate. Diba? 800 kasi is somewhere in between Fy and 1,000. So, we will interpolate for the value of your fee. You can go to your calculator. You can go to mode 32. Okay. You can go to mode 32. Sa x, yung ilalagay mo dyan are the value of your fs. At saka sa y naman, yung ilalagay mo dyan are the value of your reduction factor. Okay, so we can put here sa x, yung una is the value of your fy, which is 420. Okay, pag your, your fs daw is equal to 420 or is equal to fy, your reduction factor is 0 0.65 daw. Okay, at saka if your fs daw is 1000, the value of your ano, reduction factor is 0 0.9. Okay. You press AC. You go to your apps uh, regression. Uh, since yung hinahanap natin is the value of your fee, so that is on the y, ano, y column, diba? Nasa y column sa. So that is y hat when your fs is equal to 800. So 800 y hat. So the value of your reduction factor is 0 0.8. 137 or uh, let's use at up to three decimal places okay 0 0.814 let me put it here this is equal to 0 0.814 okay so your mn therefore is equal to is the value of your mn your mn is 980 over 0 0.814 180 over 0 0.814 the value is 1203.93 1,203.93. This is in um, kilonewton meter. Okay. So, obviously, okay, yung MN max mo, di ba, again ha, MN max is the maximum capacity of the of the section if it is singular enforced. E sabi sa problem, kailangan daw makakarry siya ng 1,203.93. E yung capacity mo lang, to ensure ductile failure is 912.057, di ba? So, there is uh, a discrepancy. The difference between the two, kasi yung MN max mo dito is actually, let's go back, ha? Your MN max doon is actually your MN1. That is the capacity of the beam, the maximum capacity of the beam if it is singly reinforced. Ibig sabihin, wala pang reinforcement sa taas, di ba? That's your capacity. Okay. So, since it is uh, your MN, your actual MN, na required ng problem is greater than your MN max, ibig sabihin, may difference between sa dalawa, di ba? If we try to determine that difference, okay, so your MN is actually, uh, the, your MN, this one, this is the capacity that your beam should carry, okay? 1,203.93, this is the nominal capacity of the beam should carry, okay? Which is 1,203.93. Okay, so this is actually equal to, ano yun, di ba? MN is equal to MN1 plus MN2. This is taken from the formula here, di ba? MN is equal to MN1 plus MN2. Okay, so your MN, MN here, this one, this is 1203.93. This is in kilonewton meter. Your MN1 naman, this is the capacity if singular enforced. The maximum capacity kung singular enforced lang siya. This is 912.057, diba? Plus MN2. The difference between the two is actually equal to your MN2. 
mn2 therefore is equal to uh alam ba yan? Uh, let's go to mode 1 you have there 1203.93 minus 912.057 so the mn2 is 291.873 this is in kilonewton meter. So, ibig sabihin, this magnitude, the magnitude of your M2, that's the additional moment that your beam should carry. Okay? Saan ba magagaling dyan? You cannot increase the area of the ano anymore. You, you should not increase the area of the concrete anymore. So, what you do is you, ha, you add reinforcement at the top and of course at the bottom. Okay? Kag, kukunin natin yung reinforcement na yun, using this ano this uh, moment mn2 so how do we do that take note that your mn2 is equal to cs multiplied by d minus d prime at check or that is ts1 uh, multiplied by d minus d prime let us use this first in solving for the value of your mn i mean for in solving for the value of your es okay so we will equate yung mn2 natin to ano ba yun c c S multiplied by D minus D prime. Take note that your MN2 is equal to 291.873. Of course, times 10 raised to 6 para Newton mm siya. Okay? And your CS is equal to your AS prime, prime to denote compression, multiplied by FS prime, multiplied by your D. D is equal to 700 minus D prime, which is 70. Okay, so before you can solve for the value of your ES prime, you need first to solve for the value of your FS prime. Okay, so how do we solve FS prime? Diba, FS prime is equal to 600 multiplied by C minus D prime over C. But this is the formula for FS prime. This is equal to 600 multiplied by C. Yung C na gagamitin natin dito is yung C max. Diba? That is your C na gagamitin. Your C is equal to 300. Your D prime is 70 over 300. Yan. So, your Fs prime, therefore, is equal to, ilan ba yan? That is 600 multiplied by, your C is 300 minus 70 all over um, 300. So, the result, the value of your Fs is equal to 460. Okay. 460 megapascal. Again, you should not automatically substitute it here ha sabi your fs is limited only to the value of fy okay okay ibig sabihin lang dito nag yield yung compression reinforcement so we will replace your fs prime here by fy if pa yung gagamitin natin so in solving for the value of your es prime your es prime is equal to lang ba yun? this will be equal to 291 Point eight seven three times ten raised to six all over uh, your FY, which is four hundred twenty, multiplied by seventy minus se seven hundred minus seventy. The result is uh, your AS prime is equal to one thousand one hundred three point zero seven three. This is in mm squared, kasi area siya. So, this is the value of your AS prime. Okay? Ito na yung AS prime. Yung pinapahanap kasi sa problem is to determine the steel area required for the section. Since this is doubly reinforced, meron kang AS prime, the area in compression, which is this one, 1103.073. And of course, you also need to solve for the value of your AS. Okay? So, yung AS prime at saka yung AS yung hinahanap natin. Ano ba yung AS prime? Okay, yung AS prime natin is the area of the steel reinforcement in compression. Yung ES natin is the total area. Okay, your ES. Your ES is the total area of the steel reinforcement. Okay, in tension. Which is equal to, this is equal to AS1, yung steel reinforcement na ginamit sa, sa TS1, plus the AS2, yung tension reinforcement na ginamit sa TS2. Diba? So, this is your value for ES. For ES. That is ES1 plus ES2. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so um, how do we solve for the value of your ES1? Yung ES1 lang muna. So, let me erase this. How do we solve for ES? Okay, so how do we solve for the value of our 
ES, the total ano, the total area. Okay? Diba? Sabi dito, your ES is just equal to your ES1 plus ES2. Let us first solve for the value of your ES1. So, paano ba natin sinosolve yung ES1? Okay, you can you can use the ano, you can use this relationship. Your TS1 is just equal to CC, diba? You can use the fact that these two are equal because they are in state of equilibrium. So, you can see CC is equal to TS1, diba? Your CC is equal to 0 0.85 FC prime AB. This is equal to your TS1 naman. This is ES1 multiplied by FY. Why yung gagamitin natin? Because CMAX yung gagamitin natin dito, di ba? Uh, pag CMAX yung gamitin natin, we are sure enough na yung tension reinforcement will yield. Okay? Kaya nga CMAX yung, kaya nga nilimit lang natin sa CMAX para sure na mag yield yung tension reinforcement. So, if pa yung gagamitin natin dito. Okay? And in fact, if you want to, if you try to solve for the value of your FS, di ba, kung gusto mong isolve yung value ng FS mo, this is 600 um, D minus C over C, where C yung gagamitin mo dito, yung C max, yung FS mo will be equal to 800 megapascal, which is way beyond your FY, na 420. Di ba? So, FY talaga yung gagamitin natin dito. Okay? Erase this. Okay, now, uh, yung A na gagamitin mo is your A na sinold mo using your C max. That is 255. So, this will be 0 0.85 FC prime, which is 21, multiplied by A, which is 255, multiplied by B, which is 350. And this is equal to your AS1, the unknown, multiplied by FY, which is 420. Your AS1, therefore, is equal to, ilan ba yan? That is 0 0.85 FC prime, which is 21 megapascal times 255 times 350 all over uh, 420, the FY. The result is, oh, the result for AS1 is 3793. 3793.121. This is 125 pala. 125. This is in mm. Okay, this is in mm squared. This is your value for AS1. Okay, next naman, we are to solve for the value of your AS2. How do we solve for AS2? We will use the relationship between CS and TS2. We will use the fact that these two are equal. Okay, so we can say your CS or the compression uh, force from the steel. This is equal to TS2. So your CS here is equal to AS prime multiplied by FY. FY yung gagamitin natin, di ba? Because we already have solved the value of your FS prime. FS prime is 460. It's beyond 420 na value ng FY. So FY yung gagamitin natin. Take note, you cannot, you, your stress should not exceed FY. That's why uh, kung mag-exceed yung FS mo ng FY, FY yung gagamitin natin in solving. This is equal to your TS is just equal to AS2 multiplied by FY again. Take note na, mag nag yield siya, di ba? Kasi si max nga yung ginamit natin, di ba? In solving for the value of FS. Okay, it will just yield FS equal to 800, which is way beyond FY. So, FY yung gagamitin natin. So, parehas pala silang FY, this will cancel out. Ibig sabihin, yung AS2 mo is just equal to AS prime. Diba? Which is equal to 1103.073 mm squared. So this is your value for your AS, AS2. AS2. Okay, so to solve for the value of your AS, that's just equal to, yun na yun, diba? Nakasulat na dito. To solve for the value of your AS, that is equal to AS1 plus AS2. This is equal to your AS1 is 3793.125 plus... Your AS2 is 1103.073. This is in mm. Okay, so if, uh, your AS is therefore equal to the sum of the two. Diba? Ano ba yun? 3793.125. 3793.125 plus 1103.073. This is equal to 4896. 4896.1. 198. This is in mm 
squared. This is now your final answer. So, dalawa yung final answer mo ha. Your AS and your AS prime. 